Hey guys, Todd Wilson again, how to make a fan um, This tutorial I'm going to get into how to actually load the the fan page uh, up to or actually the app up to your fan page and uh, actually get it to start working for you. So um, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you uh, kind of where we left off in the last video, which was pretty much right here now. What I've done is I have created another application. We were working with Kickbox test page, and I have actually loaded that onto my uh, my fan page, which is right here. So you can see how that looks. Okay, that's the one that I built originally, and um, that I was kind of working through in the first tutorial, and now that's up and on the site. Okay. Now, what I've done is just built another one so you can watch how I actually load it uh, up to the site, up to the Facebook fan page. Um, so from here, I'm going to choose which one I want to work with. I'm going to work with this one, okay? And I, I just go to Application Profile Page. Now, I made a mistake early on when I started doing this, and I hit Submit It because, you know, I thought that's what I was supposed to do, and that's not what you're supposed to do. So once you're here... All you're doing is going to go to application profile page. You click on that, and boom, you come to this looks like a Facebook fan page almost, but this is actually your where the application resides on Facebook. And from here, you just go to add to my page over here. Okay, and there's the fan page that I'm going to add it to. I'm going to click on that, and then if I go over to that particular page, which is right here. Now I need to refresh it because it's not showing up there. And on the refresh, there it is. It's all ready to go. If I click on it, there you go. And you can see it's got a little different look than the first one. I've got two videos on there. Um, I actually have a little footer that I created for this one that the other one doesn't have. I'm actually going to put these two together and maybe one or two other ones. And, and they'll be available to you, so stay tuned. Um, you know, join my list, and I uh, will be uh, providing this and, and much more for you. Um, and my goal is to give you enough information that you can actually create these and move these around and adjust them how you need to do it to uh, make them work for you. I'm also going to show you how to make these headers. I'm going to show you some free software that makes these really, really simple. And if you don't have the free software, then you know it's it's going to be a great addition to what you have, um, and and how you edit uh, pictures. I'm going to pop over real quick to show you how I built the pages, and we're going to go into more detail about that in a little bit uh, through the next couple of tutorials. But this is Composer, <clears throat> K O M. P O Z E R, and uh, it's really a, a great WYSIWYG uh, um, editor. And I built the pages in here, and here is the the kind of the design layout. And if you go to the source, you know here's the source code, and it it allows you to just kind of drag and drop, create uh, you know the the boxes and stuff that you need. And but it, don't get overwhelmed. It's very simple. I'm going to walk you through step by step, and I'm actually going to give you kind of the uh, the fundamental code that I go to use to create these. So and, and we'll walk through in, in very detailed steps about how to make it work for you. But I just wanted to kick over and show you, you know, what you're going to need. And this is actually free software as well. So you might want to. Um, you know, go ahead and get Composer, and again, that's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R. Um, so let's get back to our Facebook fan page, and I just wanted to show you how do you, you remove this. So if you get to a point where you're kind of working with it, and you decide, you, you know, you need to create a new one or or whatever, all you do is go to Edit Info, so after you've loaded that up, here's how you get rid of it, okay? And you're just going to go to Apps, and here it is. See on the back side, there's the, the 
kickbox test page with the two red Muay Thai guys and here's the one that we just loaded up with the silhouette and all you do is just come over here click on it remove it okay and it's gone and so you go back to view page <coughs> see and it's already taken off now if you decide hey I want to bring it back you know again real simple we went to the this is the app page where we ended up coming to um, from here remember back to my apps this is where we started you go to application profile page that drops you in here you just say add to my page click on that there's the page you want to add it to click on that and now you bounce over to where that page is and you have to refresh and there it is it's real simple so we will go through in the next tutorial more of the details about how to actually build the pages so you can you know have something that you're loading up there I think that's probably a you know a bit of a an issue for some people um, and I see a lot of uh, other guys out there doing these iframe Facebook fan pages that are kind of creating a you know a template that you have to follow and you kind of have to stick to what they give you I'm gonna try to create this thing so that you can move stuff around know how it fits in and be able to position stuff on your own to really kind of be creative and build the fan page how you want it to be built so um, thanks for stopping by stay tuned for the next couple uh, tutorials lots of good stuff coming and Todd Wilson how to make a fan page.com